Hello, my dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010 in Russia. So let's um, talk about some uh, cancer uh, myths because we oncologists often hear or read in internet uh, the comments of the patients. That's why I will take uh, some of uh, these uh, popular beliefs and uh, let's uh, uh, talk about it. First myth. Cancer is a modern man-made disease. Maybe to control the population of our uh, Earth planet. And the reality is, cancer has existed throughout the history. Uh, evidence of tumors has been found in Egyptian mummies in uh, uh, prehistoric fossils. You can see here. Uh, while lifestyle and environmental uh, factors in the modern world can really increase uh, their risks like smoking or pollution uh, and uh, some chemicals in the food, uh, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, all this stuff. But the fundamental process of uh, uncontrolled self-division is ancient. The main reason why we see more cancers uh, nowadays because the people live much longer. They can live until old age and they have time to develop cancer because most of the cancers are happening uh, with age. Yes, young people also can be sick and uh, also even kids. But in most cases, the risks of cancer increase with age of the person. And also the diagnostic tools are better nowadays. That's why we can find uh, the uh, tumors uh, better. Next, a 1.7 million year old hominin. It's a or early human ancestor. Uh, fossil foot bone uh, was found in South Africa uh, and showed the evidence of osteosarcoma. You can see here the tumor, uh, aggressive tumor of the bone. That is the irrefutable proof that uh, cancer plugged our evolutionary uh, relatives long before modern society. And one more uh, publication in Lancet Oncology Journal uh, detailed a metastatic cancer in the skeleton of uh, two and a half to three thousand year old Nubian young men. Next, superfoods can prevent or cure cancer. We hear a lot about uh, goji berries, turmeric, um, ginger, alkaline water. But the truth is, uh, no single food is a magic bullet. A balanced, um, healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains can really reduce the risk of cancer, but it's not 100% guarantee. However, eating the large amount of this specific superfood won't neither cure or prevent any cancer. The alkaline diet um, belief is uh, particularly pervasive. The body tightly regulates blood pH, I mean in uh, acidity, and food can never change it um, in uh, such an extent, so it will affect the tumor. But, of course, we know a lot of uh, substances, natural substances, they have some preclinical mostly proof, or they can be used, uh, for example, as adjuncts to help uh, treatment of cancer. But again, it's not a panacea, not a, a total cure for any kind of cancer. Especially, you can never reach such concentrations of uh, active substances from this food inside the tumor as you can see in uh, uh, preclinical uh, investigations, when they do very, very concentrated um, extract and put it directly into tumor. Next myth. Myth 3. Sugar feeds cancer, so cutting all the sugar will stop cancer. This is uh, a very dangerous oversimplification. All our cells, including healthy ones, uh, use glucose or sugar for energy. However, cutting all the sugar from your diet doesn't stop uh, the tumor. Your body will still produce uh, minimal amounts of glucose needed for um, functioning from other sources like protein or fat. Furthermore, uh, many patients with cancer are already malnourished. They have sarcopenia, for example. They have lack of uh, muscles, lack of protein, lack of immunity. They may have also lack of fat and uh, cutting down all the sugars may starve them even more and decrease the ability to resist the tumor. They need adequate calories and nutrition. Second, one more thing, many tumors can switch their metabolism to other sources like glutamine or even ketone bodies. 
we also heard uh, some stories when the person was healthy and he was on keto diet and then he developed a very aggressive tumor. And we know that in reality, I was talking about it in uh, the videos you can see on the screen now, um, talking in details. And um, we know that uh, in some tumors, keto diet may be really helpful as the uh, part of uh, combination therapy of tumor. We can influence it metabolically. But in some tumors, it just won't work or may even accelerate the growth of tumor. All the tumors are different. But of course, we know that there is a part of truth in uh, this uh, myth because uh, cancer cells, uh, they uh, can produce energ uh, energy uh, with um, uh, using the ancient method without oxygen. And of course, uh, this needs a lot of uh, glucose. But uh, this approach is too oversimplified and uh, must be used with uh, caution. Next myth. Alternative therapies can cure cancer better than conventional medicine. Because the doctors, uh, they just poison the patients with their chemotherapy, but alternative therapies are so good. First of all, we know that a lot of chemo drugs are made from actually plants and uh, are of the, for example, bacterial origin. For example, vinca alkaloids or doxorubicin or um, docetaxel. That means that our, uh, our medicine also takes good from nature. While complementary therapies like acupuncture, like meditation and yoga can be wonderful for managing symptoms like uh, side effects like pain, like nausea, like anxiety. They are not substitute for surgery for sure. I always tell my patients, if the oncologists, the surgeons um, offer you the surgery to remove the tumor, you should always agree. And uh, alternative medicine, if it's used in substitute instead of proven uh, conventional methods, uh, it's a big mistake. And alternative method methods are very good as complementary uh, treatment. They can help again to uh, improve uh, the uh, results of the therapy, to decrease the side effects. We know that there is a uh, integrative oncology. It's a field of medicine that takes uh, uh, conventional medicine plus alternative me methods and combine them together. And as for me, that is the most promising um, direction. I talk a lot about different uh, natural remedies, herbs, about uh, medicinal mushrooms, methylene blue, all this stuff in the field of uh, cancer treatment. And we see that there is uh, usually some preclinical evidence, but not enough uh, proven um, human trials. But some of these methods are already started in clinical trials. So we are still waiting for the results. So integrative oncology is the field that intentionally combines uh, conventional treatments with evidence-based um, complementary th therapies to provide the better results. For example, we know that ginger, that is already known from clinical trials, helps with nausea and vomiting, common side effects of uh, chemotherapy. Cannabinoids uh, also help with uh, vomiting and with pain and can stimulate appetite in malnourished cancer patients. Medicinal mushrooms can help to support the immunity, uh, support, um, help also with side effects of chemotherapy and may uh, actually improve the results of cancer treatment. For example, turkey's tail mushroom. And we know it from clinical trials. And now I want you to see this famous article from the Journal of National Cancer Institute. It's a famous 2017 um, study. It looked at patients with curable cancers like breast, lung, colorectal, early stages. Those who used alternative medicine uh, were more than twice as likely to die uh, compared to those who used conventional cancer treatment because they were more likely to refuse or delay the proven therapies. And for breast cancer and colorectal cancer, it was uh, five times higher. And really, I had such patients, uh, they uh, contacted me from the uh, YouTube channel and they had a tumor, as a woman uh, not, not far ago. She contacted me, she has breast cancer. She uh, had it uh, one year ago, it was just one centimeter, it was her first stage. And uh, they said, uh, oh, okay, we will do you photodynamic therapy, we will uh, treat you, we will cure you, don't worry, you don't need any surgeries. And um, of course, I'm talking about some alternative clinic. 
And she did it, and in one year the tumor is already 10 centimeters with metastasis. It's already spread and uh, she cannot be cured anymore. Only chemotherapy is available for this woman, unfortunately. That's why if tumor can be removed, it must be removed as soon as possible. Very common fear. Biopsies or surgery can cause cancer to spread. It's a very common fear, but it's extremely rare in modern techniques. What is tumor seeding? This occurs uh, when needle or surgical instrument uh, is physically inserted into cancer and it dislodges cancer cells from the main tumor and carries them along the path that it uh, creates, like needle track or surgical track. And for these cells uh, to form a new tumor, they must find a conductive uh, environment like soil to grow. To say it simply, the piece of tumor falls out and it produces a new uh, growth. And uh, decades ago, with uh, less refined needles and surgical technique, the techniques, uh, this risk of seeding was of course higher. Uh, this led to documented cases or which entered uh, medical law and public fear. However, medical practice uh, has evolved dramatically to prevent this. Uh, coaxial technique, watch this picture please. Uh, this is the gold standard for core needle biopsies. A larger hollow introducer needles uh, goes inside the tumor and the actual biopsy needle will be passed through the introducer to take the sample. The introducer acts like a sheath, um, ensuring that no potentially contaminated tissues uh, touches the healthy tract on the way out. After the sample is taken, uh, the introducer is cleanly withdrawn. Also, biopsies are made under their um, imaging guidance like ultrasound, uh, computer tomography or MRI. Uh, this uh, allows the physician to plot the safest possible path, avoiding major blood vessels and organs, ensuring precise and clean sample. Next myth. Cancer is always a death sentence. This is perhaps the most important myth to debunk. Survival rates for many cancers has dramatically improved within the last 50 years. For many common cancers like breast, prostate, um, thyroid, the five-year survival rate is uh, nowadays over 90%. Even for more advanced cancers, uh, new treatments like immune therapy, targeted therapy are turning once fatal a diagnosis into the manageable chronic conditions for many people. And I know a lot of patients who had their surgery and treatment in 20 years ago, for example, and uh, nowadays they're free of cancer, or some of them uh, have some uh, recurrences and metastases, but they are treated, treated, then they are fine, they are treated again, and for 20 years they're already living. That's why I'm very interested in natural remedies and alternative medicine to improve uh, these results even more. One more myth that I always hear, that uh, the miracle cancer cure it already exists, but it's been suppressed by, by Big Pharma. I would say that global scientific community is very competitive. They're all fighting and struggling for finding um, very effective treatment of cancer. Cancer is the name of for hundreds of different diseases. It's not one disease. They look different. They have different behavior. They respond to different therapies. A true universal cure for all cancers, as for me, is impossible. We know a lot of very wealthy people who died from cancer. And I will tell you that farm companies, they're also struggling. They're trying to find new remedies because if they find something that is better than the others, than their competitors, uh, it will be included in protocols and they will earn a lot of money from that. And of course, if some company will find the cure, they will use it to earn money even more. But again, I will uh, repeat that cancer are many different diseases. One remedy is impossible. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope it was interesting for you and uh, waiting for your comments and questions. And thanks for sharing this video and for supporting this channel. That's very important for me. I wish you a good day, God bless you, goodbye. Don't